Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to a speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are building a small family home for a single dad of two kids. And I really like the way this house came out. I've been talking a lot lately of, uh, first of all, using floor plans as inspiration to build these homes, which I did for this one. I saw a really cool picture. Again, I didn't copy it, so I'm not going to show it because the details are different, but I used it for inspiration and I find those all over the place, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, Twitter, I mean, I mean everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> and I definitely like the way it came out because I've been experimenting more with modern homes lately and I usually have a hard time making modern also look like cozy for a family. I don't know why, but when I think of modern, maybe I mean more contemporary, but I definitely think of more like clean lines, um, more up-to-date furniture, things that have, you know, just cleaner lines that aren't very traditional and not super cluttered but definitely I wanted the home to look like it was lived in like the family enjoyed it but it was still kept very neat and tidy so the reason I, I'd like to talk about the family a little bit as well I've been asking you guys if you want the actual family created and then I could even do it like starter story style where I create the family and cast uh, use their set budget based on what they're given, their traits and stuff through a starter family creation, or I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like this thing in cast where you can make a family or make a sim and you answer a bunch of questions and it gives them like just their, their basic starting uh, skills. It gives you some aspirations. It gives you a job sometimes or makes them unemployed and it gives you some starting money. So I've been doing some of those. I've also been just talking about a hypothetical family like in this scenario. Um, so let me know which one you prefer if you actually like to see the family or just hear about them or a mix of both is fine. But I imagine the dad that live here the dad that lives here got divorced from his wife because she was cheating on him and they were childhood sweethearts. They were married for a very long time before even they, they before they, excuse me, before they even had children, they were married uh, and together for a very long time. But once they had kids, his wife kind of realized that she wasn't really cut out for the family life. She had spent her entire youth with the same man. And although she did love him and care for him and care for her children, she just decided that she wanted to go explore other options. She had never experienced anything else. So she left him uh, mutually. I mean, I guess mutually is not the right word, but on good, on decent terms. I mean, she was cheating and she fell in love with someone else. And then she explained to him what was happening and they divorced and she left and she still sees the kids. She doesn't have uh, technical custody of them because the dad has a good job. He makes good money and he wanted full custody and she didn't want full custody. So he's more than capable of taking care of them on their own, on his own. But the mom still does take them for visitation here and there, a summer occasionally, things like that. So she's not super involved in the kid's life, but she didn't just like totally up and disappear either. So that's kind of the story I'm going with. Uh, the dad, again, he's very neat and tidy. He has a very clean and organized home. He does like to decor though. He likes plants and candles and books and things like that. So you'll see a lot of those around the home. Even the backyard when we get to it is pretty neat and tidy. There's like a swing set and a um, slide and I think a toddler pool, but there's not like a big area to like cook out or do anything like that. He definitely stays more indoors and lets the kids go outside and play. And I think for his career, he is probably a professional. Again, he has a really good job. I imagine he is something like a doctor or a lawyer who isn't super rich but definitely is stable and spends most of his money um I shouldn't say spend, saves most of his money, puts most of it in savings. He has a pretty humble home and he takes good care of his kids, but he's not too frivolous with his money. He could afford a bigger and nicer home, but he just wanted something ranch style that's you know small enough to take care of, small enough so that he has his children close by and they're not in like some giant mansion. Uh, although he could definitely afford that if he wanted. So he's just saving his money, thinking about his children's future. He already has their college fund set up, everything like that. So he is very stable and very 
very smart with his money. Um, <laughs> and there is some landscaping around the house. I didn't go super crazy, but I definitely added a bunch of trees with some just pretty flowers and bushes. And I believe I put lights in each and every one of those so that you have a lot of outdoor lighting in the evening and the nighttime, which I love to do. I used to actually, I haven't done this in a while, but I used to take like the little floor lights from the pool section and just put them uh, hidden underneath all of the plants so you get even more of a glow. I might start doing that again now that I thought about it, but it's definitely well lit enough at night so that your Sims can enjoy the outdoors without getting, uh, you know, it too, too, without getting too, too dark. And I actually experimented with a lot of eco lifestyle in this pack. I, it was one of those packs that I got. I was like, oh, it's cool. I did a couple builds and then I kind of forgot about it. Never went back to it. I really didn't do any gameplay, which is so weird because I was super excited for the fabrication stuff and the candle making and the dumpster diving. But for whatever reason, I never quite explored it. Uh, so even though it's been quite a few months since the pack came out, as I was building this, I saw a lot of items that were essentially new to me. Of course, I did a build by review, but they're not items that I've been using frequently, so I forgot most of them existed. Uh, so definitely you'll see a lot of that type of decor. I think I also used a lot of Spa Day. Spa Day actually has some really cute couches uh, that come in this like super cute mint green color that you're going to see here pretty soon. And I don't use them too much because again, I don't build modern too much. I'm usually very traditional. So I usually do either like super comfy, cozy looking couches. I tend to overuse the parenthood. Well, not even parenthood, but maybe, I don't know, the seasons, the cat and dog ones. There's just certain ones that I use over and over again. So I definitely went with like something more of a sleek, clean line. And here I'm doing a, some mini wall art. I say mini because I know some people who do some amazing wall art with the lights in The Sims. Uh, one of them is my friend Tia. Her user ID is Nettie, N-E-I-T-I hyphen winter. I think that's what it is. Um, but you can find her on the gallery. She does some amazing light art. I mean, stuff that will blow your mind, logos and cartoon characters and just some of the coolest stuff you'll ever see. You have to be really patient uh, to do that. But I just used the tree branch light and put a few of the little mini pool wall lights around it to look like little accents here and there. And a few of the bugs, little flying bugs from a realm of magic. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I don't even know if this ended up staying, but I put the drink tray down and I stocked it with drinks with my sim and no matter what I did I don't know if it was every time I built a wall or placed a piece of furniture or did a wallpaper I don't know what it was but those kept disappearing and showing up in my sims inventory so I hope I put them in they should be there for the screenshots um, but yeah if you download this house just keep in mind they might disappear or they might spoil if you don't take care of them right away. I don't know. I like putting little food and drink decor wherever I can because I feel like it just makes the house look more realistic and cozy and lived in. So that's why I use them. Um, I didn't use a ton of debug though in this build, which I probably could have. Uh, but again, I wanted to keep it not super, super cluttered, but cluttered enough so that you can tell a family lives here. They have their favorite things. They have a little basket of blankets and extra pillows and cushions. But again, everything is like tucked in and neat and organized and put in its place at all times. Even all the decor is a very uh, meticulously selected to match each other and <laughs> just, I don't know, it looks super cute. I didn't want to go like super matchy matchy with like one table lamp on one table and the exact matching table lamp on the table beside it. Uh, I did a little bit here and there with like the two wood candles creating symmetry. But for the most part, I try to make it look like it was just bits and pieces that uh, he's collected over time. And I also, okay, so this is kind of something I've been doing when I've been using the floor plans as an inspiration is I've been picking a very neutral wallpaper and flooring and sticking with that through the entire house. And I know in real life that's super realistic. I mean, obviously people paint their rooms and have feature walls and different things like that. But for the most part, especially if you're like renting an apartment or you know, getting a new build home or something like that. For the most part, it's the same flooring and the same wallpaper throughout. I mean, my house, for example, we have a bunch of different flooring, but I think it's just because um, of updates they made over the years. Not even good updates, but just, you know, it, there's a bunch of different flooring in here, but all the walls are white and that's pretty typical. I think every house I've lived, ever lived in, all the house, all the walls were white. Um, with maybe the exception of the house I rented previously to getting my uh, mobile home. And that only had, I believe, 
two rooms that were pink, maybe three. I think my room had like a neutral beige -ish color. Um, but then there was like two kids room. One was pink and one was blue. And the blue one for me was just like an extra storage room. I don't even know what storage. It was just like an extra empty room. And the pink one I used as my office because I was like, wow, it's like a pretty pastel pink. That's perfect. But I had no intentions of actually changing it up. Uh, but I'm curious, do you guys paint your walls? Like, is that something that's normal for you? Or are most of your walls and flooring pretty uniform throughout like if you have two bathrooms do they have the same tile and the same sinks I, I imagine they do the same counters but I'm super curious to know what what how you guys live so let me know in the comments below and I, oh my gosh I just had another question and now I totally it escaped my mind uh, oh I was gonna no it's not even a question it was about painting it reminded me uh, of a couple times that I did actually paint my walls See, I said I never did, and now I just remembered I did. <laughs> uh, my very first house that I owned in Ohio, I had a full finished basement, and the walls were just like a neutral beige or like white color, but there was these, I don't know what they're called, but there was these, um like wood paneling that came halfway up the wall and they were a dark ugly brown and I hated them so the first thing I did before I moved all my stuff in was paint that giant basement where I lived like that was my part of the house my parents and sister had the upstairs and I had the full finished basement which was the size of the whole house and I painted the white part like a royal purple I was really like into the gothic stuff back then so the white part was royal purple and the dark boards I made black so it was black and royal purple it was actually really pretty but the painting took forever I was a hot mess I had paint all over me all over the place uh, everywhere in my hair in my clothes in my socks I don't know I was just covered in paint I'm the messiest painter ever and I did have someone help me and it still took forever and I was like I'm never painting again but the only other two times I did ever paint a wall was uh, my store when I had my clothing store really bright colors in fact somebody thought when I was opening my very first store that it was a daycare because like my walls were like hot pink and teal and neon green but I guess you would expect that if you know me if you know me, I like really bright and colorful stuff. So yeah, but I had again people helping me paint those. I hate I hate painting walls by myself. I probably uh, will never do it unless I absolutely have to. Whatever the house comes like, that's how it's gonna stay for me. Um, but yeah. By the way, oh my gosh, I can't believe I always do this. I always wait to like towards the middle of the video to introduce myself. I don't know how I always forget to do it at the beginning. I guess I'm just so excited to talk about whatever comes to mind that I forget but if you are new here hi hello welcome my name is Stephanie also known as Simmerky I am a self-proclaimed mermaid yep I love seahorses unicorns rainbows kittens and the color pink and I actually stream full-time over on twitch and we uh started with the sims we played the sims for many many years but in March we switched over to animal crossing which I've been playing pretty consistently until a few weeks ago and now I'm just sims obsessed again I haven't even played sims in such a long time and all I, I, I just, I can't stop building now. I've built like, I don't know, 10 houses plus the new snowy expansion pack coming out. I've been super excited for it. I literally can't wait. I had alpha early access to it. So I was able to, uh, I didn't have a ton of time with it, but I was able to get like my build by review and my debug and a world overview and a couple builds. So those are all on my channel if you want to go watch those. And I should be getting early access again before the pack comes out. Uh, so definitely I'll have a ton more snowy escape videos coming. And in the meantime, I'm pretty sure I have daily videos. Uh, yep, videos every day. So we've done a bunch of speed builds already, including this one. So make sure to go check those out if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want. Want to see more videos it actually helps me a lot if you watch them because uh, not only did I take a sims break but I also took a YouTube break not a huge one but I was mostly just putting content over for my twitch channel or highlights and things like that on this channel and I know pretty much everyone here subscribed for the sim so I don't know if people left necessarily because my sub count hasn't gone down but I do think a lot of people just stopped paying attention to me and I think uh, YouTube is penalizing my channel for just being so all over the place it really only likes my tutorials and my speed builds in the sims it's never really rewarded any of my other videos before uh, it likes to hide them <laughs> so hopefully now that I have like this little comeback with a ton of videos a ton of motivation a ton of inspiration a whole new passion for the sims hopefully you guys see that and enjoy that and check out my videos it would mean a lot to me that watch time is super helpful even if you just let them run in the background 
if you just want to help support me, if you're one of my Twitch viewers or one of my, you know, old, old YouTube viewers that are com coming back to check out these videos, that is super extremely helpful. And again, if you're new, just subbing and checking out a video here and there, if you like The Sims, really helps me a lot. Um, I plan if the videos, you know, get decent views to keep this up, probably not daily because that's super hard, <laughs> but at least one new speed build a week for you and challenges and more tutorials here and there. So if you're into that kind of stuff, Again, it would really, really help me out. And I do have almost a thousand Sims videos, so it's not like there's a lack of Sims content on this channel. And one thing I would recommend if you're still here and you're still watching and you're like, wow, I like the way you build, uh, or I want to learn how to build, or I want to learn how to build better. I have tutorials, a whole bunch of them. So there's two playlists. They're linked in the description of every video. So you can go right in the description and find them. One is for beginners and that goes over everything from how to use the UI, how to build, how to make houses that aren't just squares, how to landscape, how to make pools, blah, blah, blah. And then I have another one that's an advanced series. And um, that one is super cool. I teach you how to rotate the camera, how to move objects up and down, how to resize them, um, how to set cinematic camera controls, how to make open counters, attics, lofts. I mean, I, pretty much anything you could think of. And I don't know when I'm gonna record them, but I have plans to make a few more to teach you how to make ponds and your own aquariums and custom closets and all sorts of stuff. So basically, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments in my previous videos I've asked for ideas for family homes um what type of families you want me to see and lots of you gave me ideas so I've been writing them down so I could try to get to them uh so in this one I'll ask you specifically for tutorial ideas and you can give me family ideas too if you like this idea with the single dad and the two kids which we're working on their adorable bedroom right now let me know if you want to see more like this I'd love to do more uh stories based on the sims themselves so that there's more to talk about when I'm building and not just like here's a house but more like hey here's a house that you can use for this which you can and download this on the gallery hashtag Simmerkey or user ID Simmerkey123. So screenshot time. There is a look at that backyard. Again, it's mainly for the kids. Dad doesn't really come out here very often. And here's a shot into the dining room, which again is very neatly set up, very cozy, but also very well kept. Um, that is the living room and the kitchen. I didn't talk too much about the kitchen, but I thought the kitchen was cute. It has a very masculine feel to it. And we have lots of bathrooms in this house, including one with a laundry room. I think I put hampers in the kids' room and the parent, the dad's room. So yeah, you should have those. And there's a shot into the bedroom. I thought they came out really cute. He has a nice little reading chair, his office set up, um, and a nice dresser leading into his own private bathroom. And here's some more shots of the living room, which is probably my favorite. And the kids' room is really also well kept. Um, the kids areas are very clean. Uh, I imagine one's probably more child age and one's closer to being a teen, but you can literally uh, wake up whatever story for the families that you want when you download this, if you download this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, it really means a lot to me. Your comments, your views uh, are the motivation for me to keep making videos. And I hope you check out some of my others as well and come back and say hello. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!